Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can change the batteries on your Hexbugs BattleBots. So that's going to be on the actual vehicles themselves and the controllers. So you'll know when your batteries are starting to go flat because when your kids are playing with this and for example they're using the weapon, you can hear it doesn't sound as strong as it should do and also it hasn't got a huge amount of power behind it. So if one of the vehicles is struggling to knock the parts off the other vehicle, it could just be because the batteries are getting weak. And they do go flat pretty quick because as you can imagine, when the kids are playing these, this thing's spinning near enough 90% of the time. So it doesn't take long to wear those batteries down. So it's really straightforward to do. To change the batteries in these, all we need is a crosshead screwdriver. So that's a Phillips screwdriver. And then if you look at the back of it here, it's just one screw to undo. And it gets to a stage where you can't undo it anymore, but you won't lose the screw because it's held in place here. So you're only ever gonna be able to just loosen it. And as you can see, we've got three batteries here and these are triple A. So that's AAA batteries. Now, they're the ones that you get with it. Obviously, when you put your own ones in, if you go for a better brand like Duracell or Panasonic, Energizer, one of those ones, you should get a little bit more life out of them. And it's really straightforward. If you look closely, it tells you exactly how to put them in. So you can see here that I've got the positive this side, negative this side, positive, negative, positive, negative. And you just obviously follow the shape of the battery and the spring here. Then do it back up. You don't need to go crazy, just nip it up so it's just tight like so. You don't have to put a lot of force into it. And you can hear now that it's a lot stronger. You see? I can still obviously stop it, but it takes more to stop it. And the process is exactly the same on this one over here. Again, if you have a look inside, you will just see the three AAA batteries, like so. Right, let me now show you the controllers. Now on the controllers, if you flip them over, you see it will actually tell you what batteries you need. So if you look closely there, you will see it says AG13 LR44, just up at the top. And they're like watch batteries, but these batteries will last a lot longer than the batteries in the vehicle, because this is only transmitting a signal from here to there. So with this one, again, we just need a little crosshead Phillips screwdriver, the same one will probably work that you used on the actual vehicles. And again, you're not gonna lose the screw because it stays retained in there. Yeah. And there you go, you will see the two batteries in there. So with this one now, you will have to get a little flathead screwdriver or something small and sharp just to basically put in there and just leave her out. And with these ones, they actually go negative side or the minus side down. So if you have a look up, the top bit there is positive and negative in there. And with these batteries, you can actually get these very cheaply from Amazon and eBay. I've even gone down to the local pound shop and they also have them in there, but something like this would not be good quality, but I'm just gonna show you them working. So for example, AG13. So I'll be able to use the batteries on this row here. Now remember that this side here is the positive side and this side is the negative side. And you can see up there, this, although the packaging said AG13, you can see on the actual batteries it says LR44. So let's pop these in. Like that. Like that. The cover back on. Do the screw back up. There we go, and you can see it's working again. There you go, as you can see, nice and straightforward, and you can change the batteries very easily and also quite cheaply as well. Hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.